not even bothering with this assault rifle. Like, I really should just switch back to the pistol. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Tropical Man. I would have to go through it. Thought I was harmless, did you? Another monosexual. Oh. Right, sir. Wait, were they? Does anyone actually know this information? I should have read the list. Doesn't tell me I might know something about the fire rate. Should have got some right there. I try to use the soft right there. Y'all set me up. Neutralize. Good. Whoa. All right. Um. The ugly right here. Oh, he had. Shit. I do not want to get to collect the particle beam. That's what it's called. I knew it was called. Honestly, I love that freaking thing. It's great and you can't get much better. Some people prefer grenade launcher. I prefer the grenade launcher. Okay, for some reason the health of my enemies are not showing up, as you all can see. So I'm just kind of going for this. Oh, oh, back in the back in the It'll probably be fine if I restart the game, but I'll need to do that in a minute. If I must tear you apart, Shattered, I will. Please don't. It costs so much money to rebuild me. Please don't do that, sir. I'm pretty sure Miranda would be highly insulted by you doing all her harm. And honestly, I would not want to genetically modify a biotic with her hands. I just went. Yes! She frightens me. Alright. When you're playing the game, everywhere you see Element Zero, get it, because it's hard to find Element Zero rich planets, even with the Shadow Broker speed. And yes, I know, spoiler, sorry, but I felt y'all needed to know. Try to have a biotic with you because um, warping its shields will do you a lot of good. Don't try to overload it. I mean, not shields, it's barriers. Warping the barriers or, you know, something like that makes you a lot of good. These fights are long, these fights are long. This thing does not like to die. No matter how nice of you ask it. Ah! 
And seriously, is that my thing to let me know? You know, what the health level on this thing is? Is this supposed to be in So we will try a concussion shot. And it's new. Can I get Primus? Can I? Yep, yep. Oh shit. Alright, you hit him with a concussion shot. Thank you. Shit, did you just die? Oh my freaking frackety frick. Please die. Please don't come back. Please stop harassing me. I would appreciate it. Alright, so we just gonna we're we're gonna send a shot. Oh And now we're gonna hit that ass with a Where's the ah, there goes the door. Ah yes. We got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall three two one seven. Rerouting commands to firewall seven one six four. Please don't give me all this extra information. I don't know what to do. Where we came in. Getting close to the end. Yes, yes we are. Wait, where is it? Oh. I'll take it! Which way? Which way? Left or right? Left or right? Ah, oh, yes, this is part of the level, which is. Honestly, it's just really ugly. It's just so ugly. Um. What I need to know is, did he ask permission before I assume he's the right control? We fight as one. No. You don't need to. You don't. Fight as separate individuals. Let me kill you individually. My attacks will tear you apart. My aim sucks. But, I got it done. Anybody over here? Anybody chilling? Anybody chilling that should be dead? Oh, just y'all? Okay. See, homie up here in the bag has barriers. And I'm glad that it's kind of coming in. So y'all can see what I mean. You can't do much with barriers, but you can for them. Please move. Let's, let's, let's come in here. This, this ugly giant, giant, whatever. Um, how dare you, first of all. Don't come near me and my enemies. My shields are down. Yeah, I know this. Asshole. Alright, um, don't do like I'm doing it. If you're a fucking thing, if it's not letting you know the level of health on your enemies, don't try to fight them. As you see, it gets really annoying. Playing it gets hard. Disrespectful ass. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm gonna try one. Please handle him, y'all. Like, just do something with this thing. Oh. Oh. Heavy fire imminent. Is that it? 
Alright, alright, alright. This thing is, is almost fine, so. Stop that. I mean, I mean, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they really jump in half. I hadn't considered that as a possibility, but we should do it. Thank you. Whoa. Sometimes we just give up. You know, this is what we're out of time, Commander. We have to go. So yeah, um, later, we'll do the, we'll worry about the sleep. It's 1.30, my sleep aid should be kicking in soon, so I'm just gonna cut this video down a little, possibly, I don't know, I might just leave it as is, and upload it, but I will go through and um, do a sound check to make sure. I think we have one conversation with the elusive man left, and after that, should be a okay. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him too. You damn skippy. Shepard. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. You's a bitch. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld. You and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your ability. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. Of course we do. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Sound like some Star Wars shit. A Star very Trek. old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target, a 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Nope. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. 
The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. Mm -hmm. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. That ain't my business. The initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. Fucking my shot, liver. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. You tell them. We'll make things easier going forward. Mm -hmm. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. <sighs> All that shit you get from Ashley or Caden on Horizon. And you're stuck with this asshole. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Yes, he did. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. You got Try something like up. that again and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't yeah. be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. We've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip to the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocol. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? Calm your tits. Derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Thank you, homie. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. This video just hit 42 minutes in 30 seconds. Yeah, this is going to be cut up into two videos. Probably going to cut the Kasumi part and edit it in with a different one. So, log it off.